What is the question? <laughs> that was a rumor. <laughs> I'm gonna leave with like however many puppies they have. <laughs> Hi, I am Tessa Thompson. I am here with BuzzFeed and I am about to be here with a lot of puppies which I'm really excited about and I'm gonna answer your questions. Or I'm gonna try. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, they're so floppy. Hi. 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 <laughs> Probably doing an underwater fight scene with Tandaway. And we shot in Mexico, so it was like being on like twisted vacation. Like sometimes she'll like look with her eyes before moving her head, which was really fun to try to like capture, um, <laughs> to, ca to try to capture the spirit of uh, her. Yeah, they're just the way she moved. And then to make it my own, I think, you know, it was sort of um, easy, cause like it was me doing it. So it was gonna be my own, if that makes sense. This sounds kind of kinky, but I don't mean it to be. <laughs> Probably Michael B. Jordan, because he could like work out for me. He could take my body for a month, honestly, and you know, help it. It's very Westworld. There's probably like splintered group chats. Like I have one, I think, with Evan. Rachel Wood and James Marsden, and then Handaway. She's a good texter. She's a, it's a lot of memes with her. Oh. What is the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The hardest part sometimes is just how mean she is. And I love my cast mates so much. Being in that space sometimes is, <laughs> is challenging. Yes, 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 yes. Body parts and I also have like a special suit, which I think actually you might see in the finale. I technically think I might have auditioned for a host, for an original host on Westworld, but then, then they called me and asked me to read something else, and this time I knew it was for a human. So I might have, I'm, whoa, ooh. these two. I auditioned for Cloverfield. As an actor, you just forget all the things that you auditioned for that you didn't get. <laughs> you just forget them right away. Mark Ruffalo, he's my favorite person. <laughs> I would be stuck anywhere with, with Mark Ruffalo. He's so funny. I feel like he could keep you really calm and also he he's the person I just, may, I haven't gotten to see him a lot relative to other people in the MCU so I could, I could deal with some elevator time. I might like get an elevator stuck on purpose so I could hang out with Mark Ruffalo for the afternoon. Does this work on puppies? This works on kids. I definitely try to perform everything, you know, to various degrees of success. They don't like to let you like smash on things. And I have an amazing stunt double named Tara Mackin and we love to work together, work together on everything. You know what was the most fun? Christian Bale doing that. It reminded me actually of when I had a fight scene with Kate Blanchett because you're so, I'm so excited to work opposite those actors. And then you're so nervous because you're like, don't, just don't hit them, don't hit them, don't hit them, don't hit them. After every take, Christian would be like, are you all right? He was playing like such a scary bad guy and then and then he was like so considerate. It was really cute. This is my favorite part. Oh, you're cute. God, you're cute. I, my favorite part is how much we get to improv, how, how silly it is to make the movies. Feels like a lot of play. And I, I love working with, with Chris so much. I think, I think, I mean, I always knew this about Natalie because we're friends and have gotten to hang so much socially and, and work together on other things. She's so funny. 
but it was, it, I think learning the extent of that while making Thor Love and Thunder was really fun and I think will surprise audiences. And then Christian, I didn't know what to expect. I had never met him, but he's so nice. He's like so um, sweet and also very, very funny, which I think might, it might surprise fans. Coleman Domingo or Nisi Nash, she's really good at FaceTiming. She, she'll still answer her FaceTime. Actually, Coleman Domingo is the one that told me Nisi Nash will always answer her FaceTime, and then we did it, and she did. Um, Cheers. I would have loved to guest star on Cheers. Or the Golden Girls. That, that would be so cool. Shows now, maybe Succession. That would be fun. The thing I was so interested in is um, that he would be so like in character and then he could shift so easily into directing. And he did this really cool thing where instead of saying cut when he'd be in the scene, you would just see him really subtly do this. And that was really cool. Oh, the wildest rumor I've ever heard about myself. Uh, I think everyone knows. <laughs> that was a rumor and definitely not true. <laughs> I didn't get to really um, welcome Jonathan too much because he was mostly doing fight stuff, but I think, you know, I think a lot of like male hugging, which I, I just like to watch. I would like to see, actually, I once voiced a dog um, with Justin Thoreau and he was my puppy mate, and so I'd like to see him do a puppy interview. <laughs> Thanks, BuzzFeed, for giving me my new puppy. I'm never leaving her. And make sure to watch uh, the uh, Westworld show on HBO. <laughs> and these puppies are adoptable at North Shore Animal League America.